She wants the silverback to father her children. She's just come into season, and she has only a couple of days when she's fertile. There's no time to waste, but she's going to have to work hard to get his attention. Guys, welcome to Butter Bachelor. My name is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. Um, you know, uh, you got to love the fact that as women approach the wall and they find that their uh, dating options are becoming less and less, all of a sudden they're discovering new men exist. Maybe those not those 10, 20 percenters at the top, but they all of a sudden discover, hey, there's other guys out here too. Um, now, either this is all of a sudden a wonderful enlightenment that comes to uh, greet women at, at middle aged, or they discover the wall and they realize that their time is uh, and their options are running low and it's time to maybe maybe branch out a little bit. This is from our uh, favorite uh, train wreck, uh, Yana Hawking from Australia. And she writes for the Daily Mail per usual. I, and I like following uh, Yana Hawking and, and some of these other Oh, what's the word I'm looking at? Uh, influencers, dating coaches, whatever you want to call them, because um, you can, you can buy their articles, you can read the path through their life of mistakes and, uh, <laughs> and where they're trying to go and that it's not working out so well. So this from the Daily Mail. I'm guilty of a horrendous crime on dating apps that's left me single, confesses Gianna Hawking. And if you learn from my mistake, you might just meet the perfect man. Now, of course, as usual, uh, Yana still hasn't met her perfect man. She's, of course, still single, and she still thinks she's going to bag Mr. Perfect, even though she's not. Uh, she, she says, a confession, I'm guilty of a horrendous crime. It's deeply shallow, completely discriminatory, and has left me single for far too long. I hang my head in shame as I confess the crime is swiping left on short kings. She says, these mighty men of short girth, girth and girthy is, has nothing to do with height, nor length has to do with girth. Just so we're on the same page. Uh, usually stand, uh, uh, they usually stand around five foot seven, give or take, and are ignored by the masses. Seriously, ask any woman what their deal breakers are when it comes to dating, and the answer after a few wines would be men under six feet tall. Uh, here's what's ironic. It's actually now, uh, I've seen more and more of these posts on social media sites and on meme sites where women are now going to six foot two. Why? Because all women want six foot. They all women want six feet tall. So they, but, but she's special. These women think they're special and they deserve more. So now they're upping the ante to six two. This is how it went from I want a guy that may, this has a decent job to a man must make six figures to now he must make mid to high six figures to now he must be a millionaire. It went from a six pack to an eight pack and it went from six inches to eight inches. Like it's always got to be more. There's no keeping them happy. She says, now if you were uh, to go looking for a short man in the wild, aka any, any bar, pub or sporting event in town, they're actually easy to find. Yes, who knew that 90% of men are, or whatever the statistic is, 85, 87% of men are shorter than six foot tall. So yes, there is many of them out there. Who knew? They were invisible, Diana, before this. They are that short, hilarious guy who has the confidence and strength of character to flourish in the face of conventional beauty standards. See, because conventional beauty standards is over six feet tall. Other than that, you're not, you're not conventionally good looking. Uh, it's like you shouldn't be attracted to them, and yet you are, says the woman whose beauty is as slipping as quickly as uh, her ability to date. Uh, she says, the problem is we think of tall men and think dominance and strength, but no, has no one watched uh, Tom Cruise's action movie? He comes in at 5'7". Remember interviewing him a few years ago, and despite my high heels and his platform shoes, we were bang on the same height. I didn't know Tom Cruise wore platform shoes, but I guess it makes sense. Uh, see, so it, which means if they're both barefoot, like in a relationship, walking around the apartment, they're the same height, but that's not good enough for women. He carries himself like a six foot tall bloke. I guess you could even compare it to BDE, big, big dinosaur energy. Uh, but in this case, it's in height. I can think of three things right now that I'm attracted to, uh, but it wasn't easy to uh, road to this realization. Oh no, I had to swipe right on all the tall, genetically blessed douchebags first. Of course. Now, why is it at the tender age of 700 
or or probably 40 is she all of a all of a sudden discovering uh, shorter guys it's because as you know yana is not hard on the eyes and it, and if this is her at 40 you know if you were to see her you know she's not on it for her age she's not unattractive she got a good, nice set of cans she's not fat so that puts her in the top 20 30 percent of women automatically by just not being overweight but why is it now that she's coming into this realization? It's because again, her opportunities are are lessening. And and at least she's being honest and saying, I don't even I never even looked at short men from my first 40 years of life. Of course not. Because women don't. But the minute that you tell a woman, I don't want to date big girls, I'm not into big girls, oh shame on you. Or if you say I'm not I'm not into I don't know, whatever. But women can very quickly Say they don't want to date a short guy or a bald guy or this or that, and but that's their preference, you see. But when a man has a preference on the same thing, he's an a-hole. Uh, and she says, and, and here's the thing that makes it even more despicable. I'm a teeny tiny five foot three myself. So really, who am I to be choosy about what height someone is? And yet I found myself setting, uh, setting my dating app preferences to men six feet tall and over. All I can say is shame, 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 Yana Hawking. Firstly, because even with the heels, I look ridiculous standing next to someone that tall. And secondly, height does not equal chemistry. Let me just say this. I think, I think Yana probably got dicked down by a really good looking, probably athletic, shorter guy. And she's got the butterflies right now. She's like, ooh, you rocked my world. But he's shorter. I can't believe I've been missing out. Uh, she says, firstly, because even with heels, I look ridiculous standing next to someone tall. Okay, I read that. And secondly, height does not equal chemistry. Yeah, obviously. Uh, I discovered this the other night. Okay, here we go. I discovered this the other night when I turned up to date a guy uh, who looked far taller in his dating profile pics than he was in real life. When he stood up from the bar and uh, stool to greet me, I'm ashamed to say I was upset when I realized we met eye to eye in height. So, if she's wearing three or four inch heels, he's probably around five, seven. And she was upset about that. Can, again, can you imagine being a guy and meeting the girl in real life? And you were like, man, I was so upset. I met her face to face and she was 50 pounds heavier than her photos led me to believe. Re, you can hear the women screaming from here. Uh, Jason Statham, like he's a shorter guy too. Tell me he, he, he couldn't provide protection for you. Uh, then they say there's Jason Statham at 5'10". Oh, okay, so he's quite a bit taller. Uh, Jack Efron, 5'8", Bruce Lee and uh, Al Pacino at 5'7", Mark Wahlberg at 5'8", good Lord, even Daniel Radcliffe concer uh, conquered Voldemort at a tiny 5'5". Five five. I instantly expected very little from the date and thought, oh, well, I'll settle in for a drink and make the most of it. Plot twist, it turned out to be one of the best dates I've ever been on. Well, of course it is, because number one, sh shorter guys don't get that many opportunities. So they're not, you know, cycling through the women as quickly as taller guys are really attractive or really rich guys are. They have to use their personalities uh, in a relationship versus just being, you know, alpha Chad. Uh, he was funny, polite. Once I look past all the height issues, ridiculously attractive, big blue eyes, broad shoulders. So he was probably a gym boy and confidence in spades. I woke up the next day on a high and also a hint of regret. How many awesome guys had I missed out on because I had literally overlooked them? Now, here's the thing. What's interesting. I, I really bet you she banged him because that's pretty much her. If you read a lot of her stories that she talks about, she's definitely into the one night stand. So I have a feeling that this guy got him some Yana and an STI. And she was like, hey, maybe I missed out on something. She says, the problem is we think of tall men and think dominance and strength. But has no one watched a Tom Cruise action movie? He comes in at 5'7". Okay, I read that part. Uh, she says, I'll admit, I literally swooned when I met him. Heck, even Sylvester Stallone comes in at five foot six. I didn't realize that, see? Because a lot of these actors do in a lot, many scenes, uh, if you see them walking with somebody like the actress they're starring in, uh, this is apparently a thing. They will make a line of, of like a couple of boxes with a board across it that the short actor will walk with the woman to make it look like him taller when they're doing a walking scene. Or if they're standing somewhere, they stand on a box. This is a thing uh, that's been around in Hollywood for forever. I had no idea Sylvester was only at 5'6". So I'm the same height as Sylvester Stallone and twice as handsome and 10 times weaker. So, <laughs> uh, then there's Jason Statham. We already read that. 
Uh, and here's the kick, the final kick in the pants. Both Brad Pitt and George Clooney come in well under six feet at 5'10". Listen to her, listen to her thought process on that sentence alone. Brad Pitt and George Clooney come in well under six feet at five foot ten. That's like this far, maybe this far. That's two inches. Well under six foot. So if you're five ten, you're this much shorter than a six footer. This woman and many women will look at you as well under six feet tall. <laughs> Just an unbelievable. So ladies, what the heck are we doing? These men are laughed all the way to the bank and sitting front row at Victoria's Secret shows and yet we're being picky? But just don't take my word for it. Science actually proves that they are the superior of a mating species. A recent study by E. Harmony found that guys uh, found that shorter men usually compensate for their height. They tend to be sensible, kind, less likely to cheat. Well, that's a bit of a treat. They're even known to contribute more to the household chores or uh, making better financial contri uh, contributions. Uh, well, of course they do, because again, if, if a guy's extremely good looking and makes a lot of money, and uh, he's tall, he knows 100% of the women want to be with him, he's going to put in zero effort into the relationship. But if you're a shorter guy, um, like myself, I mean, I'm, I come in 5'6", 5'6 five, six, five, six and a half, five, seven. I don't remember what I am anymore. Last time I got measured uh, for, my, for anything was at a doctor's office probably a decade ago, and I'm sure I'm shrinking with height. Who knows, I'm probably 5'2 now. <laughs> but the whole point is, that we, we've never had an advantage of being exceptionally good looking or rich or tall. So how do we make up for that? By being funny, by being smart, by being hardworking, by being dedicated, by being uh, usually a good person to be around. Now, the same could be true for fat girls, but we know that's not, <laughs> not the case. But it's, it, it is true that, that men that do not have advantages physically have to make up for it in other ways. But these women never notice this until it gets to the point where that's about all they have left. Uh, she says, so ladies, do me a solid change those height preferences. You are missing out on a world of delight by constantly swiping left on them. You're welcome in advance. Now they do show 1.2 thousand comments. Uh, let's see uh, if they have anything interesting. Can we, uh, it says, well, they're no longer, they're no longer <laughs> accepting comments on this article. Okay. Uh, is there any that have been upvoted a lot? Uh, uh, best rated. Let's see what we got. She's single because she's shallow and ignorant. <laughs> 2,342 upvotes. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say they're wrong. Um, let's see. Here's another one. I'm 5'5 five, five male. I had a terrible luck in dating apps. I doubt many women see the, uh, set their preferences to look for men under 5'10". I'm a good looking guy, but a few dates I went on apparently did not check my height. And the moment they saw me look in their eyes, uh, oh, the look in their eyes, the moment they saw me, the look in their eyes said, whoops. And yeah, I, I did even try dating big women, meaning fat women. Uh, with one turned me down flat. I did finally find a great woman who was first attracted to my sense of humor and then everything else. We've been extremely happy, married for seven years. And I'm glad the others turned me down because I find the right gal. And he's got 1,770 upvotes. Good for him. I hope it works out for him. Uh, old, old Billy Goat says, that's not why you're single. You've got more issues than Women's Weekly. <laughs> the, uh, someone else says, a dating expert who never had a successful date. Uh, someone else says, Yana is still single because she lacks emotional maturity. She hasn't matured past her teens and dates men who likely share the same problem. I agree. Uh, someone else says, week after week, dribble after dribble, professional attention seeker, this one. So you can see even on even on Yana's own content, uh, I mean, here's the thing. The magazine doesn't care. The website gets the clicks. They get to run the ads. They make their money. They don't care if people hate it or love it as long as it gets eyeballs. But as Yana, I, I got to tell you, this is not only her, uh, are the readers that actually um, put comments on this, but many of you in my comments here were kind of the same way. It's like you're single because you're unhappy. You refuse to settle. You're always chasing the best. And it's going to get harder and harder for her. And I think just because she got folded in half by a guy and drilled for, who, who drilled for oil um, and, and maybe enjoyed it, all of a sudden she's opening her world up now. Because given the choice between a, a tall guy that looks the same as a short guy 
she'll take the tall guy every single time without knowing anything about the short guy. She, she'll still she'll still do the same. The only difference is maybe she'll try a short guy when she runs out of tall guys, which at her age is likely to be soon. Uh, guys, we're going to move on to a dating profile of the day, uh, which is where I make fun of someone's dating profile. So if you're here on Locals, or excuse me, if you're here on YouTube uh, or Rumble, make sure to join me on betterbachelor.locals.com to see that as well. Thank you. 